It really is. The music video and everything. Yeah. 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 Larry, did you put this together? I did not compose no. this one, but no. it's a good one. one. Yeah. Uh, number six, ever wonder what the largest asteroid fragment in the world looks like? No. Well, you're looking at it. Hello. Woo! It was part of an asteroid what that came rock. crashing down to Earth February 15th, 2013, near the Ural oh, region wow. of Russia. It was 65 feet wide and weighed 12,000 tons Mercy. as it encountered the thick layer of air surrounding our planet. The asteroid exploded. Ooh. No one was killed, but a thousand people were injured from broken glass due to the explosion. Whoa. Debris was scattered all over the place. This particular fragment was found in a lake. It's 1,400 pounds and it's on display at the State History Museum in South yeah. Pearl. Again, that is in Russia. Yeah, is everyone like, all right? Larry? Everyone's, there? everything in Russia is right. hunky-dory. <laughs> okay, good, just want to make sure. All right, at number five here, Florence, Italy, now has a distinction of being the most walkable city on Earth. Let me tell you why. The city's top five attractions are all within a half mile radius, so you can go and walk from one of the biggest well-known galleries in the area to the Duomo and then other incredible spots all within 10 minutes. There's really no other city that can claim that. Florence also scored highest on air quality and safety and not to mention the food, the architecture, the open air markets, the shopping, and of course, the wine. Hmm, pretty. All right, number four, uh, this isn't a one, it's more like a need. The old cat hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks ridiculous. That's because it is. It seems like the worst gift ever and probably is. But don't worry. It's not really a cat hat. It's an empty box. So you can pretty much put anything in there that you want. Uh, but your friends won't know until they unwrap it. And you'll act excited like, hey, it's a cat hat. It's the best <laughs> gift ever. Uh, maybe they'll love it. Maybe. But they'll also potentially hate it. But they'll be even more surprised because the real gift will be inside. Or maybe just the box yeah. uh, is the gift yeah. and you leave it empty. Depends on your friendship. Anyway, yeah. the cat hat is like nine bucks on the Pranko web website. Ah, uh, that's hmm. nice. Yeah. Okay. At number three here, they say standing desks are better for posture, you know, your overall health. But what about the floor that you're standing on? You might want something a little bit more comfortable. That's where standing desk mats come in. These anti-fatigue mats are padded and designed to take some of the strain off your back mm. and your feet. Yeah, they can vary in size, thickness, materials used. Some even have massage balls or massage beads to relieve Look some pressure. That. Yeah. Mm. They range in price, of course, depending on what you want. You can check out uh, coolthings.com for lots and lots of options. Do you have a standing desk? I don't, but I feel like I need one here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a four-hour show that feels yeah. like eight hours. We can work uh, on it. Number two, yesterday we told you about the Rudolph uh, puppet that went missing from the set of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and we're looking at another famous missing movie prop. In 2018, it was announced that Tony Stark's iconic Iron Man suit was missing. Robert Downey Jr. wore in Iron Man and, of course, Avengers Infinity Wars. The suit is believed to be worth $300,000. It was uh, stolen from a warehouse in California, but they have no leads uh, and have yet to find it. And likely never will. Okay. All right, number one, have you seen those caught in the act stories on TikTok? They go something like this. Okay. Someone's at a public event or at a bar and they overhear another person's private conversation. It sounds juicy. So they record the conversation and spill all the tea when they post about it. And they say something like this. If your boyfriend's name is Ben, he's a student at U of I majoring in finance. He was at a Cubs game last uh, Wednesday with his best friend Max in the bleachers. He's cheating on you with a girl named Alexis. <laughs> he's telling you he's at the gym but really he's out uh, with another girl. Uh, we made this one up, but it's not unlike what you'll see on these TikTok videos. They're very specific. Wow. Here's the thing. Are they right or wrong? Is it intrusive or helpful? What's the con what about the context? Uh, they're just getting into the glimpse of someone, a glimpse into someone's whole life. It's not the whole story. Uh, thoughts on this? Wow. None of your business. None of your business. Your business right? Yeah, I'm with Larry on this. Just stay out of it. Not Don't be stupid. Do Don't be listening be... to other people's conversations. Yeah. Move on. Business. Focus on you. Yeah. There you are. That was good. I mean, You're Alexis welcome. can be a pain in the neck, but <laughs> yeah. as a general thing, right. it's probably not appropriate. Yeah. Likely not. <laughs> All right, there you are. That's your six at six.